Welcome back to GEOP Evangelistic Outreach Ministry. I'm your servant leader for this afternoon, Evangelist Jerry Doe. You know, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome, welcome. We welcome you. You know, if you have not subscribed, I need everyone to pause right now and subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up and share the Bible study inspiration. Yes, if you need to pause now too and stop to share, go ahead on. We're going to pause right quickly so you can stop and share. You can stop and you can subscribe right now to the channel. Yes, our Bible study inspiration. Yes, you can right now, right now. Okay, I know you've already there. I know you're ready. I know you're ready. And you know what? I'm excited as always. I'm excited about the word of God. You know why? Because the word of God says that God's word is a lamp unto us our feet and a light unto our path. As long as we are walk, we are walking with Jesus, we're walking in purpose. Are you walking in your purpose on this day in 2018? Are you walking in purpose? I have a question. Yes, I have a question for our Bible study inspiration this week. And the question is obedient. Yes, obedient. Are you walking in obedience? Are you really, truly walking in obedience? No, don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait too long to answer that question. And answering that question, it should be an automatic. Yes, it should. If it's not an automatic, if you get to stop and pause and, and wonder and say, mm, I wonder if, if I'm walking in obedience or not, then you're not. I'm going to suggest that perhaps you're not. I just want to say perhaps you're not. And so we're going to look at obedience, walking in obedience according to the word of God. Yes, walking in obedience. You know, perhaps you have taken a step back. Oftentimes we may take a step back in life, but guess what? We can get up. We can get up in Christ Jesus. We can repent of our sins and we can return back unto the Lord and begin to do what thus saith the Lord to do according to the Holy Scriptures in our life on this day. Okay, so we're going to look at several scriptures on this afternoon. We're going to look at all, and we're going to Matthew. We're going to go the New Testament. We're going in the Old Testament as well. We're going to look at Deuteronomy. We're going to look at Leviticus. We're also going to look at Corinthians, Ephesians, and then also 1 John. So yes, we're going to be looking at obedience. Yes, obedience. And when we, when I, I often think, at times of the scripture, I was drawn to this particular scripture in Matthew, which is uh, Matthew chapter 22, where we look here, Matthew 22, starting at verse 36. And we know this lawyer, you know, the Pharisees and all, they were trying to, and this lawyer asked Jesus a question, and he was trying to tempt Jesus. And when he asked the question that Matthew recorded in verse 36, and, and it reads, and it says, uh, what master, which is the greatest come commandment of the law. Which is the greatest commandment of the law? And Jesus answered and said unto him that thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. And we know here the law that was given back in Deuteronomy. So Jesus was merely, he was merely uh, quoting what the law had stated. And in Deuteronomy uh, chapter 6, looking at verse five and it reads and thou according to that same question and it's and it reads and thou shalt love the lord thy god with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might yes and the second part of the question when jesus answered the lawyer he was trying to they were trying to tempt jesus the second part of that question in matthew matthew chapter verse 39 and jesus said and this is the first and great commandment and the second the second 
is unlike this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Jesus here is yet quoting from the law because they wanted to know what the law stated. Jesus came to fulfill the law. They wanted to know what the law stated. So in Leviticus chapter 19, turn there to Leviticus chapter 19. We're going to look at verse 18. Leviticus 19 verse 18 and it reads, Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord, according to the word of God that is written here in Leviticus. One thing that really caught my, my attention is the word L O V E. E, love, thou shall, we shall, we shall love the Lord. That's it right there. We shall love the Lord. How much, uh, how would, how can even one put a, a price tag? I want to say a price tag, but how can one even equate the type of love that we give to Jesus? We give to God. On a day by day basis, thou shalt love the Lord thy God. If God is our Lord and our Savior, we must love. That's the first thing. That is the key, the love of God. If the peace of God resides in us, then therefore I want to suggest that God love is in us as well. God love, love. We must love God. Yes, we must love God and then love ourselves. If we love God, then we can keep the commandments according to the word. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. All thy heart. That means everything. It says, oh, that means not part of the heart, but all of the heart. We must love God with all of our heart. And as we begin to move into obedience, it is then, it's not, it's not even a question. It's not even a second thought. As we begin to move into seeing what obedience is, obedience is submission. Obedience is obeying. Obedience is surrendering. Obedience is be making a choice. We have the opportunity in our life to make a choice. We can make a choice on whether we're going to walk in obedience. And we, when we walk into obedience, that leads to blessings. When we walk in disobedience, being disobedient, disobeying what the word of God says, it leads to curse. It can lead to death. It can lead to judgment. Yes, it can. We must begin to yet continue to walk in obedience to the word of God. I know some may say, well, it's easier said than done. No, it is. We can do it and we are doing it. When our trials and tribulations come, uh, when, uh, and was, what is it? It's back in, in Psalms. Psalms, the 31st Psalm, it talks about it, it says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivers us from them all. When the word of God is in us, when God is a God of peace, a God of love that resides in us, we can walk in obedience. When our trials and tribulations come, the word of God says that many are the afflictions, but what? But God, he delivers us from them all. That's a shout right there. That's our shout right there. Praise God. Praise God. God delivers us from them all. So when we walk in, in obedience, we're walking in the will of God. We're walking into purpose. We are then surrendering. We are surrendering ourselves to the most high God. We are, we find ourselves committed to the word. Are we saying we're perfect? No, we are not by any means perfect, but we have the opportunity that when we need to repent, when we need to confess, when we need to yet talk to God and his word teaches us how to live, how to walk in love. 
how to walk in love. We yet need love during the season that we're in right now. Living in end times, we need the love of God. The love of God needs to be living on the inside of us so that we can continue to walk in purpose to walk in the ways of the Lord when we are obedient. Obedient, you know, reminded of also Abraham. You know, when we look back in the Old Testament, you turn with me now. I have took some notes here. Return with me now to Genesis, Genesis chapter 12, and looking at verse when we look at Abraham. Abraham, his name was Abram, and he had to begin, he had to learn how to walk in obedience. And I want to say it's a faith walk. It's all about our faith. As we begin to, to increase our faith, move our faith to a different level, God has already given us a measure of faith. Let's look at Abram, Abraham back then. Abraham, he obeyed God. Abraham obeyed God. Are you and I, are we obeying God? Are we doing what God has told us to do? Are you listening to the voice of God? Are you listening to them walking in the path? Abraham, Genesis 12, and chapter 12, verse 1, and it reads, Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee, and I will make thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shall be a blessing. Thou should be a blessing. Abraham should be a blessing. And then go down to the fourth verse of the same chapter 12. And it reads, so Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken unto him. And Lot went with him. And Abram was 70 and five years old when he departed out of Harlem. He was 75 years old. Age doesn't matter to God. Age has no bearing, I would say, you, you for choice of word. Age. He, Abraham was 75 years old. God can speak to us at any time and within our chronological age. God can speak to us. God is preparing us, has prepared us for such a time. God had prepared Abraham for such a time that he was called out at the age of 75. Isn't that awesome? At the age of 75, he was called out. So why are you tripping? Why are you tripping with yourself if you see that you are ready at the age of 75? Why are you having a hard time with moving forward, getting on up? Get on up. Oh, yes. Get on up. Yes. Get to what God has purpose in your heart to do. We're going to look also at Moses. Moses obeyed God. Yes, he did. Oh, it's a lot. We can glean from a lot. You, as we look in the Old Testament, I'll uh, turn now to Exodus, Exodus chapter three, Exodus chapter three, looking at verse two. We're going to read verses two through four, and let's see what happened here in Moses. All right. And in Exodus 3, starting at verse 2, and it reads, And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burnt with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside to see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, here am I. Here am I. 
If God called you and you responded, Lord, here am I. Hear my Lord. Here I am, Lord. Here am I. Surrender. Obedience. Surrendering. Submissive. We have that choice to make. We have that choice. And then we can look at Jesus. Oh, God so loved us. And the word of God says in John that God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life, have eternal life with Christ Jesus. We look at what John has said in, in John, John chapter 1, verse 14. John chapter, chapter 1, verse 14, and it reads, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. In John 1, 17 through 18, and it reads, For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. No man hath seen God at any time. The only begotten Son which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. Jesus did the will of the Father. Yes, Jesus, he did the will of the Father. And we can also glean from Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 4, looking at verse 17. We won't have time in this session to go into that in depth, but write down Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17 through 32, and we'll look at that on the next side. We will continue on on our next week on obedience and walking in obedience. Are you listening to the voice of God? And if so, have you surrendered your oneself to the will of God and walking in obedience and walking in the purpose that God has for us on this day? Amen. Amen. We're going to pause for a moment of prayer. Bow with me. Most Holy God, our Father, our Lord and our Savior, Lord God, we thank you for your word, Lord God. Oh God, your word teaches us, Father God, on obedience, Lord God. Oh God, thank you, Father God, for letting us know we need to submit ourselves, Lord God. Oh Father, we must obey your word, Lord God. Oh Father God, we must, we have that, we have the opportunity, Lord God, to make that choice, to decide on what we're going to do. You've given that to us, Lord God. Oh God, we thank you for Jesus, Lord God. Grace and truth now come in. Lord God, we thank you for the uh, Jesus. Oh, yes, we do, Father. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this Bible study. Father God, we thank you as we yet moving through and walking with you on this day. We thank you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed week. Are you smiling? Yes. Are you smiling? Put a smile on your face. Yes. Put a smile on your face. And yes, again and see and watch miracles that are yet happening in our lives on a daily basis. Oh yes, I know you've seen some miracles, so go ahead on and share with us a miracle that has happened within the past few weeks in your life. Yes, leave your comments below. And again, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please stop right now and subscribe to the channel. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up, and also share the word. Yes, share the word. Our Bible study inspiration with others. We will continue on our studies on next week on obedience. Yes, we will on obedience. You know, we are walking, we must walk in purpose and we're going to look at obedience. So are you being obedient to the word of God? All right. You have a blessed week. We'll see you next week. Amen. Amen. God bless you.